Hi, my name is Julia. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing another pick a card reading and today we are reading Who's Keeping Tabs on You? And I think this will be a really good topic because there's just so many ways it can go. It can be friends, lovers, family, employers, government, spirit guides. There's just, it could be for good reasons and it could be for a questionable one. So we're going to get into it today and find out. Uh, we have six piles today, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the piles. So for pile one, who's keeping tabs on you, uh, we have the yellow fan. And I know it's kind of got some green in it, but the background's yellow, so we're just going to go with yellow. So pile one is the yellow fan. Okay. Pile two is going to be the green fan. Green fan, pile two. Pile three, we have, oops, let's fix pile one. There we go. That's my OCD. Okay. Well, there's a rubber band. That's interesting. I wonder if that means something. Hmm. So pile three, we have the blue fan. Blue fan for pile three. Pile four, we have the purple fan. Pile five, we have the pink fan. Beautiful pink fan. And last but not least, pile six, we have the red fan. So as per usual, timestamps will be in the description and in the comments. Um, also, I'd like to make a small announcement. I have a bunch of stuff coming up that I'm going to have to be tending to, some family stuff. So, I will be closing down my personal readings for a few weeks. Now, if you have already booked with me, you're good, you're locked in, we're all good. Um, but I'm not taking any more for about probably about three weeks. Before the month is up, I will have reopened them. I'm just taking a small pause because... I have to make sure I can get everything done I need to do. So, and also for those of you who have booked with me already, it has been such a pleasure. Like, I have really enjoyed connecting um, with all of you guys. Uh, it's been awesome. I've had such incredible readings with some re really amazing people, and I really appreciate all of you. And so I look forward to reopening up my readings again in a few weeks. And I'm going to go ahead and take it to the reading now, so I will see you guys in your pile. Hi, pile one. If you chose the yellow fan, pile one, this is who is keeping tabs on you. So let's get right into it. So let me tell you what I'm seeing here, pile one. Um, I feel like I'm picking up on mostly a, one person. Though there could be multiple, but I feel like I'm picking up mostly on one person. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, describe to you the energies I'm reading off of this person. And then I'm going to tell you why they're keeping tabs on you, okay? So let's get right into it. So this is somebody who has gained some kind of knowledge on you. This is somebody who has learned a lot about you. This is somebody who has watched you overcome obstacles during a really hard time in your life. This is somebody who wants to express to you, like uh, give you like almost like your kudos or your accolades or whatever. They, they want to give you credit. Like you know, say give credit when credit's due. This person wants to give you your credit because they watched you go through something like extreme. They learned so much about you because this person saw you go through something and come out of it, come get out, come through the other side. Like you made it through something. Like there was some kind of really, it feels like really tough time maybe you were between a rock and a hard place you were just going through a hard life lesson or just a really tough time in life and this person watched you go get, get through it this person watched you overcome some kind of really hard obstacles or just a really tough time in your life this is somebody who i feel at one point you were connected with mm, i don't know if that would go if i would go so far as to say like husband wife or boyfriend or girlfriend but i feel this is somebody you were connected with it could be just a friend um, but I feel this is, you know, maybe even coworker, but this is somebody who, whatever the connection was, it is no longer. I feel mostly it was you ended the connection with this person. You cut this person off 
Um, for some of you, it could be that they cut the connection off, but for most of you, I feel it's you cut this connection off, or if nobody cut it off, for whatever reason, it came to an end. Like, there, I feel like there's this is not somebody who you're in connection with at this time. Um, other, other clues to tell you, so that you might know who this might be. Um, yeah, and I feel for a lot of you, there, this will be somebody who you were, whether it was just interested in, or maybe it was at some point, like boyfriend and girlfriend, but there was something more to it. Like, even if you were just friends, maybe it was, there was the potential for your coworkers, there might have been a potential for something, but there's, because, uh, coming out here, I feel that this is somebody that, uh, in the past you felt guided or until you got an intuitive hit that to slow down before you hooked up with this person or if you were hooking up with this person to stop there was some kind of internal guidance like your guides your angels were get, sending you signs like whoa, whoa, whoa you want to stop now or i wouldn't do that anymore like there's something you got some kind of guidance or your intuition was telling you like I shouldn't be messing with this person no more. Okay, so that's uh, that's another clue. Also, I feel this is somebody that at for some at some point instead of oh god the way this Knight of Cups oh my god let's see if I I gotta show you guys this I know the camera's kind of far I'm still working on my like I'm still kind of new at all these like camera angles and stuff you guys I'm working on it be patient with me um okay so I feel at some point. <laughs> this person instead of continuing to maybe like maybe the reason why you kind of like your intu intuition went off like, like okay this is not you know the reason why your angels and guides were telling you this is not a good idea is because instead of moving forward towards you i feel this person was preoccupied with something else they were moving instead of forward they were moving backwards like you see how he's this is from the double majors you see how the knight of cups on this horse is turned around facing the wrong direction, drinking a drink, looking in the wrong direction. And he's coming out, why is he looking in the wrong, why is he, instead of moving forward, why is he facing backwards? Because he's facing the devil card. And what is on this devil card? We have two people who are chained together and they have actually come together and I feel like, and, and then they're on top of the devil. So I don't know, there's different ways of reading this. What I'm basically getting from it is, this is somebody who they were extremely the toxic of toxic, like of all the toxic connections. It's like they were, <laughs> they outdid the devil. This, the toxicity of this connection, this person was bound to and still facing or entertaining was the toxicity was outdoing the devil. <laughs> I'll just put it to you like that. And they were facing that, and then like, and they were they were indulging in it. You see, as he's facing it, facing back towards the devil card, and he's sipping his cup, and he doesn't even realize he's going the wrong direction. So this is somebody who um, was at, definitely instead of moving forward in life, was turning around facing the back, turning around facing the past, still uh, entertaining and indulging in some kind of extremely toxic connection. And I feel that's probably why your guides and angels would have given you a heads up or an since you signs and intuitive hits that this is not something you want to be entertaining or connecting to, especially not physically, at least not at that time. Whether you ever did or not, it'll be different, I'm sure, for all of you. Um, also, let's see, coming out here, we have King of Swords and the Hermit. Now, this could be possibly a second person. I it. This, yeah, I don't feel this is the same person. This King of Swords and next to the Hermit, that's giving big investigator. <laughs> that's giving a big investigator feel. Um, yeah, I don't feel that's the same person. Unless you were connected to, or even a detective or something. Maybe maybe that's, for some of you, maybe that's who you were connected to. Some Maybe somebody who was in an, some kind of an authority. Maybe even military. PI, private eye, something to that nature, but with both of them coming out in reverse, I'm hearing investigations over. I don't know, at some point maybe, I think because this is coming out in reverse, normally I would say like, oh, this is somebody with bad intentions or they're not anymore. I, I feel this is maybe just like the past I'm hearing. I'm getting different, hold on, let me pick up a channel. 
Okay, so um, they're, I think they're just letting you know at some point or another, maybe this is when you're going through your hard time and having to overcome a lot of obstacles, that there was somebody that there, you might have been being in, in investigated or somebody was, had maybe even hired a private eye or something or was trying to dig up information or dirt on you. Um, it, so if in that terms, I'm hearing for some of you, it could have something to do with this person. Maybe this person was involved in some shady things. And if you are connected to them, that person was being investigated. And that could also be why your angels were cautioning you. Like, you don't need to have anything to do with this person right now. You don't want to be involved in all that. <laughs> or it could be that maybe this person was wondering why you pulled back. And they hired somebody to see what you were up to. Because they're like, what are they up to? Why did they stop talking? Something like that. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah. Yeah. Something to that extent. Yeah. This person, wow. This person saw you get, get yourself. This person is somebody who, wait, let me see, is this you or them? This person is trying to get themselves out of a situation they're stuck to. They are trying to find balance. And I feel help and even guidance from some kind of situation that they're they're coming out of. They, they're trying to, this person is either, for some, okay, they're either no longer bound to something or they're just come, trying to get completely unbound to something they were bound to and they're right, trying to find balance in their life again, okay? Now, when I asked why, they are keeping tabs on you and I'm gonna channel this. I know this is a lot of cards, but, and normally I don't take it when it's that many that jump out, but when I ask the cards like, okay, why are they keeping tabs on my pile one? We had a bunch of cards come out and before I put them all back, I always like look at them and see like, okay, does this feel like there's a storyline here? And it definitely did. So we're gonna channel based off of the actual card and the photos I see, okay? Um, but before I do that, on one last side note, this won't be for most of you. This will be for maybe like just one or two of you. If you had a partner, and I mean like somebody who you would consider like a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband, a wife, something like that, who passed away, who's on the other side. This wouldn't be like necessarily like, like maybe like a parental figure. You know, those come through a lot too. But in this specific situation, it's, this would be a... Somebody who was like a like a, a partner of some kind, like husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, somebody who passed, that person is around you often. They're always watching over you, okay? Because um, we do have, yeah, and especially with Guardian coming out there too. They, they, that's just, that I won't be for many of you, maybe or just one or two. Okay, so now let's keep going. Um, channeling, that's right, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay. So the reason this person is keeping tabs on you is because this person has, actually has feelings for you. Not actually, I mean, it's not, I say it, when I say actually, it sounds like something hard to believe, but I feel like for some of you, it'd be hard to believe due to their maybe behaviors in the past. But this is someone who actually has feelings for you, but they never really showed you. This person actually wants to manifest something with you. They are still interested, but they don't know how to move forward. They feel like this is a, a situation they've lost out in already. They seriously misjudged you in the past, and now they feel stuck and don't know how to move forward. Because um, they feel like either whatever, they're, they're worried that whatever move they make will be the wrong one, but they miss act. They miss having fun with you. They miss being friends with you. They, they're oh, sad that it ended the way that it did. And they really want to come in and offer you something. And I feel like besides just offer like because they're interested, but I feel like this person has a truth they want to tell you. Um, they don't want this to be a completely close out cycle. They haven't talked to you in a long time. They're very attracted to you and their height. They've always, this is something they've, always hidden the way they feel and how deeply they are attracted to you. Well, I don't want to say always, but it feels like even if they've expressed, like uh, the energy I feel is like even if this person has expressed interest or if you guys were hooking up or some more, like more strongly connected in the past, because I could, this, you're definitely not connected to this person anymore for who whose pile this is. Um, they might have expressed some of it, but they 
always hid how much. They always hid the, the amount of feelings or the, how much they cared or the amount of attraction. That, that stuff and stuff they never they never fully expressed to you with this moon and this eight of um, wands coming out in reverse. Um, this person, yeah, this person definitely is very attracted to you. They, they, they feel you have, I'm hearing like magnetic aura, but, or like a magnetic energy. They've always, they've always been very drawn to you and they've, they've hid how much they were. They don't, they don't like the way things ended and they don't want the cycle to be over. They feel there's unfinished business. They definitely do want to come in. They greatly misjudged you in the past. And this person has had to answer for a lot of the things that they were involved with. This person's having a hard time completely moving forward from some, from some things that they had got themselves involved in or were tied to, but they're finally getting out of some of these binds and finding balance, but they're trying to do how they're, the things are finding balance and coming to agreement within their life. They're not showing a lot of people. They have something they're keeping to themselves. I'm feeling an interfere here. In order for other people to not interfere with getting back on balance, I suppose. But they miss having fun with you. They miss, if if nothing else, they miss being a, a friend. Like the fun, when you guys did have good times, when you guys were connected. They didn't see happening, what whatever happened, they didn't see it. They didn't see it coming. They didn't, they weren't expecting things to happen whether this is necessarily in your life or their life or just between the two of you, they didn't see they didn't see it coming. It's something about I'm hearing something about they didn't see it coming. They had no clue things were gonna unravel or unfold the way they did. Yeah. And then I, I pulled a card on the guidance and advice from Spirit on regarding this person. And Spirit's guidance and advice, um, of course, you, we all have free will. You are open to make any decisions and actions you like, as always. I will never tell you what to do. Even spirit, well, sometimes spirit will blatantly tell us, like, child, you know, but um, in this situation, it's, it's just the suggested guidance from spirit is to not make any permanent decisions regarding this person, yet there is a lot that is unseen and unknown. So I would take that as basically there's a lot that's going to be revealed still. There's a lot of, like, because just look at, in this lover's card, you see the clouds over both of their faces. There's a lot that's unseen and unknown, things that are not being seen clearly about the other person. This is also coming out reverse. So this is decisions, no decisions. No decisions regarding this person because there's a lot that's unknown and, un, like, not being seen clearly regarding the other person. Both of you have, there's something that's not seen clearly. You both, there's a both, there's a lot you both don't know about each other at this time. Um, but with that light coming out the bottom, it's going to be revealed in the future. So that tells me that whether it's this person tells you or just the divine, there's going to be things that are going to be revealed regarding this person or this situation. But that is who is keeping tabs on you, my pile one. I hope this resonated. I'm going to go ahead and take it to pile two. Hi. Pile two, if you chose the green fan, pile two. This is your reading. Who is keeping tabs on you? So let's get right into it. So as I seen these cards jump out pile two, um, I want to say I think you might have more than one person. I think you might have multiple people, including like some pretty high up there guides, like spirit guides, like maybe even like higher ups. In the astral, like, I mean, your spirit guides, guides, like, there's something, I don't know, I'll explain it right now, because of the cards when they came out, it's just the way, you'll see. So up here I put, uh, I asked the cards to show me who it is that's keeping tabs on you, so I'm going to describe the energies that came out, okay? And then um, down here I asked why they're keeping tabs on you, okay? So let's get right into it. So coming out first, we have authority hope and emotional withdrawal in reverse. Now, of course, when authority comes out, that definitely can mean the authorities. We also do have justice on the board somewhere and judgment in reverse. So for some of you, yes, there definitely could be some kind of authority that's keeping a tab on you. I don't feel this is something bad though. I feel the way it came out next to hope. This is um, an emotional withdrawal in reverse. This is somebody who, if it is an actual authority. This is somebody who's 
um, almost like keeping an eye or supervising to make sure that you're doing okay. Uh, maybe there is something that happened or you went through or got in some kind of trouble in the past and now you're doing better and there's somebody who still keeps up to make sure you're still doing good and not slipping back into a old cycle, habit, or going through some kind of hard time because of the emotional withdrawal in reverse. Um, I feel that it's that you're doing better now and they're just and that somebody's just keeping keeping up to um, make sure you're still doing good. It doesn't feel like anything like, oh, you're being investigated or anything like that, okay? Um, now, also, because I had never seen this on this card until literally when it jumped out right now, it like just stood out to me. I was like, oh my God, like how have I never seen that before? Let me show you what I'm talking about. On this hope card, I don't know if you guys can see from that distance, right here in the middle, there is a light beam in the middle of this hope card. So for that coming out next to authority, I almost feel like it would be some kind of a spiritual authority. Somebody who has come in to oversee some kind of situation that happened that had caused you a great emotional turmoil in, in some point in the past. There was something that happened that caused you great emotional turmoil where big divine help was sent in to help you get through this. So there was some kind of feels like really hard time that had you in a, a a place of being extremely emotionally withdrawn and there was spiritual help and guidance and like divine intervention that came through to help you with healing and getting out of whatever situation you were in is really what it feels like so with that being said there's whatever divine help was sent in and I think it's more than just your regular spirit guides and not I don't mean when I say regular that makes it sound like oh they're just average no we have like extreme angelic even all kinds of beings around us loved ones that have crossed over we are like so never <laughs> alone um if we only knew if we only knew if we all only could see the true amount of support and love that is there for us we just some of us only knew who we were on the other side <laughs> i mean wow anyways let me get back into it and so I think the reason with that something that had to do with was what was causing some kind of emotional withdrawal that you, the hard time you're going through, I think this is about to be explained. So this is who else is keeping tabs on you. We have community coming out in reverse. So I feel this would be a group of people. This could be friends. This just be, could be just a crowd. This could literally just be a neighborhood that you used to live in, that you don't live in anymore, or just people who you used to be associated with, who you are no longer associated with. Some kind of group, crowd, friends. It could just be a location, but I feel like it's more feels like a certain crowd or people that you were around or somehow associated or affiliated with. These um, coming out next to vacation, um, what I'm getting is this, these are people you had to move away from, that you had to take a break from. Uh, yeah, you had to cut them off. No. Coming out next to no and vacation and community in reverse. These are people that you had to take a break from and cut off. Um, uh, these are people that you've had to heal from. With open, open your heart up. This, these are people you've actually had to heal from. So there's some kind of community that you're not involved in anymore. Some kind of crowd, group of friends that you don't affiliate with anymore. You don't associate with these people anymore. These people, I feel, are something that had to do with the, the way it's coming out. is something to do with causing you some kind of a hard time or dragging you down or involving you in something that was not good for you to the point where it was causing you to become emotionally withdrawn where the divine had to step in or even possibly, and this won't be for many of you, but for some somebody, it could be, definitely be, that the actual authorities had to get involved. Okay? Um... Yes, and then coming out, uh, judgment in reverse. Uh, these people who are keeping tabs, they're still going through karma. These are people who are still going through karma. Specifically, there could be a specific male or female who... <sighs> oh, I'm hearing the word despises you. This is somebody who thinks they are hot shit. Now, this is somebody who could actually be very um, attractive, or this is somebody who draws in a lot of people, they might look good, but this person, I feel, is the way the, the, the look on this face of this Queen of Wands is looking like, but why her or why him? Like, they feel like, 
almost like like that you're favored or how did you pull that off like why does that person get it like that why do they have it like that like they're just it's and then coming out next is the devil in reverse and the justice now the way i'm seeing this is with this devil in reverse is this is somebody or this group of somebody's were very toxic and they know that you were able to break free and are no longer bound to this situation or these people now with the devil in reverse i often makes me feel of people who like who are able to break free from things that are toxic for them like addictions or connections or just a negative way of being or thinking you know things that hold you back i feel like you are able to break free from this group or this crowd or maybe these are people who you maybe you used to party with get, drink or get high or something like that and you no longer do maybe you were able to get out of that lifestyle or whatever these people were involved with doing maybe they're just negative people and you're just like hey i'm done and out of it and maybe this person's like what look like especially one of them like oh why do you get to just walk away like you think you're too good now or something like that you know but there's somebody who really feels like they i'm the center of attention like and they're looking at you like who do you think you are like who do you think you are you know what i mean and 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 uh, not understanding why everyone's like how is it how is it you're able to cause these people to get some kind of karma or bad judgment and these people also heavily misjudged you these are people who heavily misjudged who you are as a person that's also what you should know this crap this crowd this group they heavily misjudged you these people i feel often look down on you um i feel that a lot of these people now see that you have walked away from all this that toxicity and are doing a lot better for yourself and they're looking like oh now what you think you're too good you know something like that um yeah these th there's definitely this was this was karma we have justice now this is from the double majors and I don't know if you see on her face regularly on the justice card it's justice is blind she has the blindfold on okay and she holds a sword but it's not always drawn up and then and sometimes she's holding up the scales and maybe the scales aren't balanced in this specific card the blindfolds off the sword is up and the scales are balanced so this is saying justice isn't blind in this specific case justice saw everything Justice seen it all and justice came in and made it right. Justice came in with that sword and said, nope, I seen everything. I don't know what y'all thought you were going to do or what you thought about this person, but it's about the scales are getting balanced. And I believe at this time the scales are still balancing out for many of them, if especially one specific person. But it, it definitely feels like the whole crowd. And so it's kind of also with that sword still being up, like it's giving me the feeling of just try it. Like if somebody feels like they're going to do or say something, justice, the lady justice is sitting there with her sword up, like I can wish you would. I really wish you would. Because like I said, I feel the presence of a, of a divine, a spiritual authority here who sent in extra help to help get you out of this situation, to help you to heal. Okay, and then so also coming out, Eight of Swords, next to the King of Pentacles, and this. So um, this could be, the, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a couple different things from this. I'm also, I'm getting that um, a lot of these people are now stuck and binded to certain situations and their lives aren't moving forward. They're not finding success the way they had been, I feel, hoped for. Um, I feel a lot of them, too, with this... Uh, this card coming out this is one of the front cards, but there are certain ways of looking at this card. This way, I would say this is some kind of title or contract. This way, this always gives me a phone screen. So this is telling me these are people who watch you. And this says world something something, asso associations worldwide. So this is telling me that this group still watches you over the internet, probably your social media. This is like their phone through on the computer and phone. So the, these are people who still keep tabs on you, on basically on it on the internet, online on social media platforms, um, and or on their phone, you know, or go, talk, going back and forth through their communications on their phone. This is how they watch you. Um, also, Eight of Swords. It's given a jail feel. Maybe um, 
some of them had wanted you to put you in jail or maybe you ended up going to jail behind hanging out with these people or maybe there's somebody who is actually in jail at this time who is also involved in this crowd who keeps a tab on you and um a lot of these people they're not they're not it's like there's no with this king of pentacles it's gonna be there's no good business going for them like things aren't they're not finding success things aren't getting better that's not they're not upgrading. They're just they, they're in the same. They're exactly where you left them. You know the saying? Like sometimes you have to leave people right where they had you. But well, right where you left them is exactly where they still are. There's been no progress. There's been no evolving, ascending. <laughs> like there's been no growth. It's, those people are exactly where you left them. If these are people who are tied, like with this devil coming out, or who are tied to some kind of toxic lifestyle, habits, addictions. They are right where you left them. That's exactly how they're still doing. And so maybe that could also be why they watch you online to see like, well, like, what are they, what has ever happened to this person, you know? What happened here? So, when I asked why they're keeping tabs on you, now we'll get right into that. Okay, so I'm going to channel a few different things here. Here we go. Let me get pick up on this first channel. <clears throat> okay, so... Somebody's watching you to see if, be, okay, they're watching you because of the fact of, of A, you cutting them off, and they're also watching to make sure that you're not in communication or contact with somebody. They want to make sure somebody hasn't come in and talked to you or offered things to you. They're also watching you because I feel some of them had made, um, there was some kind of grimy, it feels like almost like a proposition or deal that they were trying to pull off with you in the past, like, for me, Knight of Cups in reverse, it's often like somebody who's trying to sell raid to an ant. Somebody who's grimy. Somebody who's slimy. Somebody who has a hidden agenda. Somebody who has an, uh, their MO, their mode of operandi is... They have a hidden agenda, a hidden motive. There's some kind of greedy, like, I'll lie to you and tell you whatever you want to hear as long as I can get your money or get something from you or out of you. Or like even like a guy at a club who tells a girl like, oh, you're everything I look for. I want I want to be with you. I want to be your girlfriend because he's trying to sleep with her. You know, something to that. It's I'm not saying that's this situation. I'm just saying it's something people who are just going to lie out of their teeth just because they're trying to get their way or something they're trying to achieve or get for their own personal selfish reasons. So they're trying to see if that, if, if you know, if you're, if you ever are, were to, like if they're trying to see if you still believed any of that or if you like it's almost feeling like if they could still try to sucker you into something um they're trying to see oh yeah if you're they want to see if you're doing well they're watching to see if you're doing good if you're uh working if you're making money they want to see if you how you look now they want to see if you're who you're talking to and hanging out with they want to see if you're still stressed out about certain things they are curious if you're hooking up with anybody. They want to know if things are going good for you. Like if you've started to do better and if you are doing better or if it's just like you're a show. Um, they want to know if you are... There's something, there's a specific somebody they don't want you to come in contact with. I feel this is somebody you might have already cut off in the past. This might be somebody who might have a lot to tell you. They want to make sure this person and you aren't talking and that you guys do not come together and talk. So I feel like there's somebody who knows something specific with this situation or about these people that you have freed yourself from. And it had to be something serious in this crowd. Because for it to cause you emotional turmoil to the point where either a real authority, well, to me the spiritual authority is the most real authority, but the, to the point where some kind of spiritual authority or the authority authorities had to come in to, to look over to make sure that you're doing okay and still moving forward, that something serious happened with this crowd, especially if they are getting karma. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, especially if these people want to keep you bound and tied down, trapped. They were, there was something here that they, these people were not, they were toxic. They were not up to any good. And so um, there's somebody who I feel they know maybe is either fond of you or wants to come clean, maybe for their own good conscience about some, certain things. And so these people are kind of watching to see if you're in contact with that person. They want to know if you've talked to that person, if that person's working with you. They want to know who you're hanging out with, who your friends are. So it feels to me like they just watch your... It's really feeling like 
they watch your social media, see what you're up to. Are you really doing better? Do you look better? Who are you hanging out with? Are you doing good? Are you t like coming together with anybody? Are you hooking up with anybody? Are you like, have you really moved on and are at a better place in life? It's like, it's almost like they're curious to see since you broke away from that crowd, what's really happening with you. It feels like a lot of like spitefulness or jealousy, maybe even because people who are living in a low vibration like that, usually most of the time, some of them are just really hurt people. Well, they're all deep down. It really comes from hurt, honestly, that leads them to become the ones. Some of them become cold and some of them are just hurt and just hurting, you know, but a lot of these people I think had not the best intentions or things they were involved with. And I also asked Spirit to give me some guidance or advice on this situation for you. And Spirit saying, what I'm hearing Spirit say and these cards that came out is that these people still don't have good intentions for you. These are people who never really showed you real love or planned on showing you real love. These are people who like to get together and, and you know, follow the crowd. Like, you know, this is like, you know, the group mind. Like, oh, so-and-so said that this person's not pulling more, so no, no one's going to talk to her. So we're going to count them out. Out them. They're outcasted. You know, these are people who like to click up. Gang mentality. Like, they don't know. These are people who don't know how to stand on their own two feet and make their own decisions. And listen to their own conscience from what's right or wrong. So spirits suggested guidance or right, advice for you is to leave these people confused. There's no, you don't have anything to prove to these people, nor do I feel that you want to. But as far as, the, as anything goes, let them think what they want, leave them confused. You owe them nothing. These people never gave you or showed you any true love. And these people never had good intentions, nor do they at this time. So spirits, guidance, and advice, just leave them confused, leave them wondering. Okay, so I hope this made some kind of sense, pile two. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to pile three. If this Hi, pile three. If you chose the blue fan, pile three, this is your reading. Who is keeping tabs on you? Okay, pile three, so welcome. First, I ask the cards who the person or people are that are keeping tabs on you, and then I ask why they're keeping tabs on you. So let's get right into it. So um, <clears throat> I feel this is somebody who, sorry if you hear that background noise, I might have to pause it. My parents are cooking in the other room and I think that was the blender. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, so this is back to what I was saying, pile three. So this is somebody who has recently, I feel, left some kind of an addiction or something toxic in their life. This is somebody who has recently broke free from something they were bound to, some kind of bondage. And that could be, like I said, some kind of addiction, habit, maybe drinking, maybe they used to use um, some kind of substance. Um, this is somebody who is still, I feel, just now learning how to move forward and make things happen in their life. This is somebody though who did finally see the light and has seen the way out of a, a bad or hard situation, something that was really toxic and that was hard for them. But they finally saw the way out and they have now, it feels like somebody who just kind of feels like somebody who just sobered up, somebody who finally, you know, quit drinking or quit using drugs or maybe even got out of a toxic relationship, very much could be that because next we have courtship in reverse, message in reverse, and imprisonment. So I feel this is somebody who possibly just got out of some kind of um, a relationship also and is not really, probably somebody you haven't talked to in a while mm, or maybe it's that they, this person finally just got out of a, a toxic partnership and is not talking to that person anymore. This was a, a, a situation or a partnership they felt trapped in. So it could be like, you know, one of those situations where there's two people who are together and they always drink together or they always party together or they're just extremely toxic together. And now this person, I feel like when they finally were able to break free from whether it was a habit and then they decided like, hey, now I don't ha really have anything in common with this person anymore because we don't drink together anymore, or we don't go partying, or we don't get high together, or something like that. Or it could be just simply that they were in an extremely toxic partnership or connection, and now that they're they're free from that. Um, yeah, this is something I feel they were stuck in that had them stuck for a long time, whether that was a habit or a relationship. They were This was something that had them stuck for a long time, and it could be that now they're not talking to that person anymore, or this could be why they haven't 
talked to you in a long time. Um, this person might have recently moved. Um, I, I feel like I'm getting, like at the last pile I got more of like a group. This, this one feels more like it's a specific person. Um, yeah, this person I feel might have recently moved. With Mercury Retrograde, this is definitely someone you used to know. This might be somebody who comes back around every so often and you hear from them then. Um, and then with Honeymoon in Reverse, um, yeah, it's like the, maybe it's like somebody who comes, when they come around, things are good only for a little bit and then they turn bad and they disappear again, like pretty quick maybe, or it's, it's good for a while and then they disappear and then, but then they, every so often they'll come back around. Um, this person is... They're, they know they're not stuck anymore, but they're thinking about how they want to move forward. I feel this is somebody who kept away from you for a long time because they didn't want to hurt you. I think this person knew they were in a really toxic place or in a bad place or um, involved with bad habits or a toxic person, and so they didn't want you to get hurt. So they kept... they held, they. held This is somebody who held back because they knew what, what they were involved with or who they were involved with would probably bring harm to you. Like it wouldn't be good for you. So they held back for a while. Um, this person feels also like they might have missed out on an opportunity to start something with you. Whether this is just a friendship, a relationship, a business partnership, they feel like they never took a leap of faith on coming towards you. And I feel like the reason they didn't come around for a while was for good reason. You know, at least they had that much maybe respect to like keep you out of whatever was the craziness they were going through or involved in. Um, and but they now they're they're feeling like they missed out on it because they didn't take they, they didn't take that leap of faith in the right direction to leave all that behind sooner. Um, this person is also somebody who lied to you in the past. I'm seeing that here there at, at, at some point in the past this is somebody who just told like kind of basically came in telling you what they what they thought you wanted to hear in order to for things to be cool with you guys or maybe if they were trying to hook up with you or wanted to borrow money they came in just saying what they thought you wanted to hear so they could have their way like oh yeah yeah I'm not involved I don't do that anymore I don't drink anymore I don't do that but they were still doing that and they knew it and they just said that so they could come around and get what they were trying to get you know or if they oh yeah I don't me and that person we broke up we don't talk so that they could come around and hang out or something or, oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm sober now, and when they knew they weren't. Something like that, okay? Um, and then I asked why they're keeping tabs on you. And this is what the cards are telling me. Let's start channeling here. Okay, so this person wants, is coming, this person's keeping tabs on you because they want to come in and heal things. They want to bring balance to the situation. This person would like to show you how much, that how, how they're living in a, how they're living in a, moderation now they're doing things in moderation they're not overdoing like they're not doing the most like they used to this person is kind of stuck in their head and stressing out about how they would like to approach you this person also knows that they played a lot of mind games with you in the past this person knows that it wasn't fair the way they treated you some of them some of you this person might owe you money um this person wants to come out of the cold and come like this this person knows whether it was you that had to leave, turn your back on this person because you were aware of, you know, what they were up to. Um, or if it was that this person just turned their back and gave you the cold shoulder because they were too busy, you know, drinking, getting high, or in some toxic connection. It's, it's that this person wants to come out from back cold. This person feels like they never got a chance to say sorry. This person's afraid they you might have even missed out on their chance, even missed out on the chance to apologize. This person doesn't like the way things left off the last time you guys talked. The, the last time you guys seen each other. They don't want this to be something that ended the way that it ended. At least if they could come in to say sorry and get some closure if nothing else. Um, this person might, especially with imprisonment coming out up here and King of Swords, this person might have gone to jail. This per That might have been that moment of clarity, that, that sobering up moment where they, you know, had that whether it was because they went to jail so they couldn't drink or, you know, maybe get high anymore. And so then now they're like, ah, oh, I see the light. Now I see what I need to do. That, you know, they had that moment to dry out or whatever, or, you know, get 
cleaned up and that that's what helped them to wake up or if it was maybe even being in jail or uh, you know uh, some kind of facility at rehab or something that gave them a moment of clarity to realize hey maybe that's not the best partnership for me <laughs> you know something to that extent um, this person would like to come they really want to it's, it's, how do I explain this? This energy, really. It's like they want to come tell. They want to explain themselves. They want to explain to you the truth. They. It's almost like they want to stand. It's not stand their ground, like stand up to you. But they, it's like they want to be able to defend themselves. Or this is why I was like that. You know, hear me out. I'm sorry. It wasn't me. It was because I was doing this, this, and that. Um, this person really would like to manifest you back into their life. So that's why they're keeping tabs on you. They want they want to make something work out, even if it's just to come in and, and be able to have some kind of closure. Because it feels to me like they really don't like the way things ended. They don't like how it the last things that whether it was, you know, never even a last word said like somebody just disappeared. It's they don't like the way things ended, and they want to explain why things happened the way they did, why they were behaving the way they were. I think a lot of you kind of already sensed it or knew. Um, so I think sometimes people don't realize how obvious they it is to others when they're in, say, the midst of some kind of toxic relationship or an addiction or alcoholism. I think they don't realize other people can see it and sense it on them more than sometimes they would like to show or that they think people know. You know what I mean? So, um, yes, that person wants to wants to come in and I think wants to really rekindle some kind of connection and heal things with you and explain a lot. I think that it's almost like somebody wants to make amends. It's really what it feels like. Maybe this person is in some kind of like real recovery now and they really are want to say, hey, you know, I'm not, I don't live like that anymore. And, and if nothing else, I want to come in and make amends. But if, if you'll, if you'll accept my apology, could we still be a part of each other's lives? You know, something to that extent. Um, and then I asked Spirit to give me some, the best guidance or advice for you. And Spirit's best, you know, we all have free will, so you'll always be able to do and say whatever it is you choose. But uh, Spirit's suggested guidance or advice is to make sure that you're healed first. And I have thought completely about everything before interacting with this person. So Spirit's not saying a yes or a no. It's not a yes or a no, it's just to make sure that you're healed. Like if this person played a lot of mind games with you or if this person maybe even stole from you or you know, was bringing some kind of harshness or something around you, just to make sure that your your mind is, is healed from all that and that you're okay and ready to hear this person out if you choose to. I, I feel that's what I'm seeing here with this Four of Swords. So yeah, that's who's keeping tabs on you, Pile 3. That's what I have for you today. I hope you'll feel called to like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and take it to Pile 4. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the purple fan, Pile 4, this is who is keeping tabs on you. Okay, so oops, let me just say... First, I ask the cards to give me the energies of who this person is who's keeping tabs on you. And then I ask why they're keeping tabs on you. So we're going to get right into it. Um, I want to say, as uh, and for some reason in this specific pile, I feel the energies of... Um, there could be some reversed energies. So, you know, energy is very fluid. So it could could be the other way around. So take it, put, put the energy where it, it fits, okay? And if... This, this, pile, this pile is a little bit, feeling a little bit specific, so if a minute or two into this, this doesn't feel like it's your pile, then um, just pick one of the other piles, because this one's a little bit specific, I feel. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is somebody who I feel that you are either once were with, or you are with, or this is somebody who wants to be with you, okay? This is somebody who wants to come back into harmony with you. This is somebody who's patiently planning on how to make things right is what it feels like or want wanting things to get better. Um, this is somebody who is worried. They're worried that things are, they're, it almost feels like they might not be able to right their wrongs or they're worried, they know that, they know that at some point they left you out in the cold or left you worried, okay? Um, with unexpected income in reverse, what I'm more channeling from this is that there is expect, it's not that it's, they, it's, 
the opposite of unexpected is what I'm hearing is so there's this person is expecting income they're expecting I feel like this person's waiting on some kind of money or they're there they owe you some kind of money because it's just see this way unexpected income it's in reverse but I'm still being highlighted to this money falling into someone's hands this person might be expected to pay you something or they're waiting on money and I feel like they feel like once they get this money they can come in and try to make things right um, we also have honeymoon in reverse and liar coming out. So I feel this is somebody who things were going good with for a while. And then this person, I feel like got caught in a lie. This person got caught in a lie and it kind of just screwed everything up. Now, yeah, because next we have the moon in reverse. So something came to light. You found out something. Or like I said, Energies can be reversed here. I don't think it will be for many of you, but maybe for somebody it could be that this person, there was something, things were going good, and maybe this person found out something about you. Maybe they found out you had spent money and lied about it. But for most of you, I think it's, this is the other person. Um, yeah, there's something here with the moon coming out in reverse and the devil in reverse. This person got caught doing something they weren't supposed to do. Maybe being with somebody they weren't supposed to be hanging out with. Maybe it was could possibly be cheating. It could be they were spending money. It could, maybe they were gambling. Maybe they went dipped into a savings. Or this, or this is just simply somebody who you've broke free from. This could be like somebody who you're divorced from and they're trying to figure out how they can come back in and get back together and make it right. Um, if not divorced, it could be just simply somebody you used to be with and you guys are no longer together. There was just too many problems and now this person is trying to figure out how they can come back and make it right. Maybe they're waiting like once I get this money, I can go back in and show this person that I can take care of them and then we can make it right. But this person wants to come back into harmony with you. This is what they do want. Um, next with the lovers card coming out. And this specific lover's card, this is looking a lot like Adam and Eve and then the temptation of the snake or another person. So I feel like um, this is somebody who you had to make a heartfelt decision about because you knew that this person was giving into some kind of temptation. Maybe this person had a habit. Maybe this person was a gambler. Maybe this person was a cheater or you found out this person was even just talking to somebody they shouldn't have been talking to. Something to that nature. Um, this person feels that you've um, turned your back on this connection and they don't want it to be over. Okay? This person feels like, uh, like, uh, maybe they found out, maybe they got caught because somehow they feel betrayed a little bit uh, at this being over. Maybe somebody told on them or how you, how you found out about what they were doing. They might have felt a little betrayed by that, but now they feel like, okay, you might have turned really all the way turned your back on this connection. Uh, and so for why they're keeping tabs on you, this person, okay, so this is why they're keeping tabs on you. This person knows, this person wants to see if you're entertaining other options. This person wants to see if you're getting back at them or doing them basically, it feels like how they did you. This person is trying to see, Boys keep tabs because they want to see how they can turn the tables back around. This person wants to see if you're starting something new in a different direction. They want to know who you're talking to, who you're working with. This person wants to know if you really want it to be fully over and done with them. This person wants to know if you're trying to completely cut them off. Like maybe if, you, if this was somebody that you guys were maybe married with, they want to know if you're going to divorce them. Um, this person watches you online. This person is, it feels to me like this person is trying to snoop through your social media or maybe even emails, phone, mail, or something to see who you're talking to and what you've been up to. This person's very concerned and interested with what your dealings are, who you're dealing with, who you're talking to, what you're up to, maybe even where you're spending money. If you're trying to move, move away, if you're already involved, getting, if you're getting involved with someone else, if you're take, taking up, if you're doing business with somebody else, if you're going through with some kind of action to make something final, this person is very interested in that. They want to see if you really, if it's really fully over and done. I asked Spirit to give me suggested guidance or, and advice for you, for your best, that would be in your best interest, okay? And Spirit's guidance or advice in your best interest is to not to jump into anything foolishly. 
and that be whether with this person or somebody else, but to basically not enter anything blindly, like to make sure you, I'm hearing read the small, read the fine print, read the small print, make sure you understand uh, everything that comes with anything. Like, so if you do decide, say that this was a situation, this is just an example, like, or yeah, I'm gonna go in through with the divorce. Before signing any papers, make sure you've read all the fine print, have everything explained to you. Or if you do decide, hey, I'm gonna take this person back, make sure you understand everything that's going on, what they're up to, what they've been doing. Um, but also spirit is suggesting um, to try not to fight either with this person, to avoid arguments or fighting with this person, but to not just to enter into anything blindly either. Okay, so that's why I said this is a very specific message. I know this one might not be for everybody who came to this pile, um, but there are six piles, so feel free to choose another one if this was not your message. And if this did resonate, I hope you will feel called to like and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to pile five. Hi, pile five. Let's see if I can open. Am I smarter than a fifth grader today? Hold on. Hold up, we're gonna open this all the way. I think it opens more. It's right here, it's stuck, I feel it. Well. Okay, we're gonna do it this much. <laughs> Maybe somebody here is having a hard time opening up about something, I don't know. Pile five, if you chose this pink fan, this is your reading. Who is keeping tabs on you? And let me tell you, Pile 5, as soon as I laid these cards out, I knew right away. Straight up, it is your spirit guides. This has turned into pretty much a spirit guide message for you. Who's keeping tabs on you? Your guides are. Okay, um, there's a couple cards on the board that was just straight up showed it. First card out being Destiny. And you see, you see all these around this person? This girl, you, don't, you could be a male or a female watching. These are your guides. They are right now protecting your destiny. They are making sure you're in alignment. Obstacles and challenges in reverse. And even on this one, I'm, I'm looking at, as he's walking on this, see this obstacle and challenges? Right here, I, you guys probably can't see it, but there's the, the dove, which is like the Holy Spirit, leading them each step of the way. They, they, the, your guides are helping you every single step of the way. They are leading you away from challenges. They are, they are, they are guiding you every. And then look at even every time I look at this card some more. And then you see all the little orbs around. You have so many spirit guides and so much guidance around you at this time. Your destiny is very protected and is very important. Your guides are leading you. They are leading you to uh, away from situations where there will be challenges or obstacles. They are speaking to you through your heart. Your heart chakra is healed, and you are now in alignment. And they are making sure that you keep moving forward. They are helping you to make financial material changes in your life so that you can have a firm foundation. They are leading you away from situations that cause conflict and delete. De delete. Defeat. They're showing you what and who needs to be deleted out of your life. Do you see that? Do you hear that for Freudian slip right there? Oh yes, they are coming through. And look at the light. You see the light at the top of that? They are helping you every single step of the way. And you have multiple guides with you. You have a very important destiny and they are leading you the whole way. There is not one step of the way that they are not helping you out. With this coming out, house and change in reverse. Yeah, they're making sure that um, yeah, you have something big coming to you. You have a lot of prosperity. They want you to have the prosperity and abundance that is, I hear, almost owed to you that you deserve and you have it coming and they're leading you to it. Some of you are might be getting a new home soon or if you have just got a new home, it is protected. Um, they're le or at least they're leading you to a safer living, a safer or more deserved living situation for yourself. Um, they, it's interesting. I knew if, I bought this deck off Amazon and I knew when I got it that it was a bootleg deck because the Kipper cards are not this big. And also because this card is supposed to say change, but it says G-H-A-N-G-E, gange. <laughs> Sorry. But um, so they're, they're making sure that nobody leads you off of your path. Also coming out next, we have patience, sexuality, and guardian. I mean, I just knew these were your guides. Let me tell you what I'm channeling from this. They want you to be patient. I heard it's coming. It's almost here. I heard it's almost here. It's just, it's almost here. I keep hearing that. It's almost here. It's 
it's saying right here just a few more months good things come to those who wait it's almost here so something big is coming in and it's almost here um with sexuality what it says is I, I'm not being drawn to the sexuality part of it. I'm actually being drawn to the writing that's on the bottom. It says someone is still figuring themselves out. I know there's a, it feels to me like there's a, they know that I know, or they know there's a lot you're still figuring out and a lot that you're still trying to sort out and make sense about maybe which direction to go because I'm being drawn to the Mars here, how it's pointing in a different direction and there's all these squiggly lines. So it might be confusing and feeling like there's a lot of like, oh, I don't want to repeat another bad cycle. And they're really proud of the growth you've made. Uh, yeah, I mean, this guardian, come on. They're, but they're leading you every step of the way. They Just be patient. Also, we have here from the double major step, King of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. They want you to be cautious with the resources or the time or the money that you spend on other people. Make sure that you're not giving to, like save, save some of your precious resources for yourself. It's okay to hold back. It's okay to be have moderation or be modest. You uh, Sometimes I know it's, me, especially for me personally, I am a very giving person. Like, I will give and give and give to people. And then where that ends up being my downfall is sometimes I'll end up giving until I don't have an, to the point that I don't have enough to really give to myself. Right? So they want you to make sure you have enough for yourself and don't give to the people who aren't, wouldn't do the same for you. Okay? Also here, to, it's just over and over again. This keeps these different symbols. We have the Nine of Swords. But up here in this picture, it looks just like an ancestor. They see that there's stuff that you're still stressing out about. They are aware, there are still things that like are, that mentally torment you a little bit, like worries or stresses, like, oh gosh, am I going to have enough of this? Or what should I do next? They're there with you. They don't want you stressing like this. Um, then we have the hermit. And yes, they are here with you. They are a guiding light. I believe many of you are meant to be a guiding light. Also here, I'm being drawn to the egg right here with the snake around it. Your new beginning, your new start, your new life is protected. It is protected. You are being guided to it every step of the way. Your destiny is protected. You have something big coming for you and it is protected. Nobody can mess it up. It's almost here. I'm hearing the wait is almost over. It's almost here. Just be patient. I know it feels, it feels like there's other things you still have to figure out, but they are with you, guiding you every step of the way. Don't give too much of yourself to, especially the people who wouldn't do the same, like the people who are quick to take, but don't often give much back. Okay. Um, and then to follow suit on how I done the other piles is I asked why they keep being tapped on you. And I think a lot of that was self-explanatory, but here's what I got. They are, um, because there are certain doubt, they're giving, they're sending you a lot of downloads and they want to make sure that you receive them clearly. Also, um, they want to make sure that you're able to per pursue the things that you are passionate about and go after the things that you want and that you're in charge. They also want to make sure that people aren't able to swindle or deceive you and get over on you. They want to make sure that you are treated fairly. They want to make sure that you're able to maintain, especially with the heart chakra coming out up here, emotional balance. They're leading you away from people who are in competition and in secret competition with you. People who will be manipulative and conniving, trying to get ahead of you. They're leading you away from that. They, you, this card specifically with judgment, I'm getting this. You have a calling. There is a calling over your life. You have a special mission, uh, maybe even a double or triple mission. You might have completed a couple of your missions already, but you have a calling and they're making sure that you get to answer the call. You know, what's that saying? Many are chosen, few are called. Well, you're chosen and called, okay? You are chosen and called. And they're making sure that everything is in alignment for your calling and everything to fall into place. Your destiny is protected. You have a high calling over your life. You have a high purpose. Uh, some of you are probably thinking, it doesn't feel like it right now, but the, it's almost here. Saying, have patience. Everything has to fall into place. And it, even though you might be ready, there's often outside circumstances and things that have to fall into place to make sure it happens the way it's supposed to happen. They don't want you stressing out. They're sending you constant signs. There is constant signs. They're always communicating with you. They also want to make sure you don't enter into any partnerships that would be damaging uh, to you for people who are even on your level. They're protecting you from certain people who might try to come in and partner with you, whether this is in friendships, romantic connections, or business relations. They're trying to protect you from things that are not good for you. With the guidance and advice is, 
uh, something else about contracts. Um, if somebody be be cautious before entering into any com before committing yourself to anything or entering to any contracts. Like say if you're going for a new job and this is like oh god it's everything I ever wanted, but they come out with a crazy contract. Make sure you read all of it, especially the fine print. Be cautious about entering into any contract or or even if not that committing be careful other saying be careful what you commit yourself to you don't want to commit yourself to something that could actually hold you back from answering your calling um, but when the opportunity comes you will know it and it will be clear and they want you to make sure and seize the opportunity and go after what you want because it is yours nobody can take it from you it is all yours baby it is for you and so you have guidance with you all along the way i just have to show you this one more time look at all those orbs look at them that's like all your guides around you walking you every step of the way making sure that you don't step into any obstacles or traps they're also like it's hard to see because i can hardly see it from this angle from the, being this up close there is a dove right here representing the holy spirit spirit they are with you every step of the way they are guiding you your new beginning is protected nobody can take that from you it's yours and you are being guided to it it's almost here your guides are with you who's watching you keep tap on you your spirit guides and there's more than one there's a few of them and they are all around you you are chosen and called okay so this was beautiful energy. I am was really love reading this. It's a great pile. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it to pile six. I'll see you guys in the next reading or in another pile. Okay, bye. Hi, pile six. If you chose, ta-da! See if I'm smarter than a fifth grader today. The red fan. Pile six. This is your reading. What's good, pile six? This is who is keeping tabs on you. So I ask Spirit to show me the energies of who this person is and then to show why they are keeping tabs on you, okay? So we're gonna get right into it. My Spirit Guides are on a roll tonight. When I pull these cards out right now, they had me laughing, they showing me this little storyline. It was so funny. I mean, it's not funny, but my Spirit Guides are funny, okay? So, I'm sorry. So let me get right into it. So, pile six. This person who's keeping tabs on you, this is somebody who is trying to find or make or is making positive movement forward after something didn't go as they wished, okay? Now, whether this is with you or just with something specific in their life, it'll be different for each of you. Um, next, coming out, we have poverty in reverse and concern. So this person, this is giving the energy it feels like like somebody who was trying to come out of, um, it feels like they were trying to, trying to come out of, okay, I guess you could say come out of poverty or more like maybe make money or come out of a place of lack. Maybe they did something or they lost a lot and so now, but maybe something didn't go quite as planned and now they're concerned. So they're really concerned about how they can continue to move forward and up out of some kind of situation that really didn't go as they had wished or planned. Next we have health in reverse and gambling. So what I'm get gathering from this is it, it could possibly be somebody who had some kind of health issue, but it doesn't have to be. And it very, 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 very well could be somebody who has a gambling problem. Doesn't have to be. It could. It could just be somebody who takes ri makes risky decisions, like takes gambles with things. That it's like, wow, can't believe you gambled that. That was a risk. You know, like they might make some risky or foolish decisions about certain things, maybe mon with, especially with money wise, that end up being more, like damaging to them or not good for them. And that's what I'm getting with the health in reverse, um, especially with the gambling and the poverty in reverse and things not going as they wished and then they're concerned. This person might have like gambled something, maybe money. Maybe this, especially if this, like say if this person ha does have a gambling addiction, it could be that they gambled more money than they, sh they wanted to. Maybe this is, if this is somebody who you're not directly connected to, this could very well be somebody who has a spending problem or a gambling problem where they just make a lot of risky decisions that really often might not and play out in their favor or how they had planned for it to. If this is somebody you are connected to, um, 
or closely connected to, this person might have like spent money or invested money that did not pan out the way they wanted, like, like they might have made a foolish decision. Um, next coming out down here, because we have the double majors deck, we have the king of wands in reverse, the page of wands in reverse, and the king of wands in reverse again. Because this is the double majors, so there's double of all the majors. Now with that, what it's telling me with this king of wands, page of wands, king of wands in reverse is, this person did, some, did not know what they were doing. They did something foolishly that they didn't know enough about, and they did not know what they were doing. They made a foolish decision and were not able to take control of the situation. So, and then next to it coming out, it came out sideways and I'm keeping it sideways, it's the Queen of Cups. And she's, it's from the Devil Majors and she's like falling off her throne. It's, it's giving the feeling of like, say, this is just an example, say there's a relationship or a connection, or maybe a marriage, and the husband takes a gamble and is like, you know what? This seems like it would be a great investment. I want to make some more money. Uh, clears out the savings account and invests into, invest it into something like the stock mar market and it plops. And it fails. It skydives. And then it's like, oh, okay, maybe I didn't know enough about that. I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just blew our whole savings. And then they have to go tell, you know, the wife. This is just an example. Oh, hey, honey, by the way, phone's calling. Whatever this is, this is something I think this person wants to talk to you about. Um, and the, the, it's like, hey, honey, oh, by the way, um, I invested in this. I invested our, you know, maybe if the, if the wife looks in the banking, it's like, wait a minute, where's all our savings in this? Oh, I invested in this. And the, the wife's like, what? You know, the way she's falling off this throne looking like it's not the regular. It's the second Queen of Cups from the Devil Major. She's, oh, you did what? <laughs> you did what without telling me you invested that I can't it's like that I don't even know how to feel about this it's one of those the energy I'm getting up this is like I don't even know how to feel about this oh my cat just woke up and like hit the wall and it just startled me sorry so this is definitely something that would be startling and so I know that might be an extreme example for some people because this might even be somebody who you're not involved with at all but it's 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 giving the feeling of if you knew, or like if you were to find out the kind of foolish things that or risky decisions this person had made, it would give the feeling of, wow, like that I that person did that? I don't even know how to feel about that. Like I don't know if I really want to involve myself with that person or or even just like, I can't believe that person would do something so foolish. Like maybe somebody ha really has a bad gambling addiction and they gambled off everything and then even ended up losing their car because they went and sold the car because they couldn't pay off a gambling debt or so something and it's like wow like I like I have mixed feelings about that I don't know how to feel about that I can't believe that person would be so foolish so it just for different people it'll depending on how you're connected to this person it'll play out um this person uh is somebody who's had a lot of endings behind their foolish decisions I'm also <laughs> I'm also seeing here um with the Queen of Cups came out also on this part, I have to say this, on the board, the Queen of Cups came out three times. One time upright, one time sideways, and one time in reverse. This person's feelings is all over, this person is all over the place. Like this person is a hot mess behind this, but they try to keep a game face. And the way this Queen of Cups is just sitting there, like sitting on her couch, and she's like just sitting there sipping her cup of tea, just like keeping a cool, like happy face. Like this person tries to keep a game face on and not show anybody or tell anybody what they did or what's happening. Like they're like, it's like say for instance somebody, <laughs> say we'll go back to it. Just this is just an example, like a married couple, right? <laughs> and the husband quits his job, starts a business, doesn't tell the wife. This is just an example, right? And so then it's like the wife's like might he might come home from <laughs> work and the wife's like, oh how's work? Oh, it's great, honey. Like, doesn't, doesn't want to tell anybody because they wanted to wait until things went the way they thought it would. But when they didn't, with wish fulfillment in reverse, this person's now concerned. Like, like what am I gonna do? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And then the nine of the nine of swords. So this person's trying to keep a straight face. Meanwhile, the whole time, what nobody's seeing is this person's stressed. Something, there was some kind of foolish, somebody did something and they didn't know exactly what they were doing and they did it foolishly without knowing enough about it and they made a mistake and they gambled and they lost. 
whether this is just somebody you know and this is their personal life and you might not know this about them but if you did you would have like wow I don't even know how to feel about that like yikes or if this is somebody who you are very connected with and this person is stressed about you finding out okay so as for why they're keeping tabs on you it's because this person wants to talk to you this person wants to talk to you but it feels like right now for some of you they want to apologize like for those of you who are connected to this person and you know what they gambled it's that they want to they feel like they want to talk to you because they didn't get a chance to apologize and they want to be able to move forward from the situation they know that you found they know you like they and they want to know how much you know <laughs> This person, and for those of you, whether or not you're connected with this person or not, this person wants to talk to you, but they're afraid, like if you don't know this person very, or like, not that you don't know this person, but if you're not connected to this person very well, this person wants to talk to you, like you're somebody who I feel they're like interested in talking to, connecting with, but they don't have much to offer you right now, and so, um, or if this is somebody you used to be connected with, they want to know, they don't have much, they want to talk to you, but they don't have much to offer right now, and so they're curious if you've like moved on and are talking with other people, or if um, this is like, like I said, like a, somebody you're closely connected to and you know exactly what they did foolishly, they, this person wants to talk about everything that happened and they're curious if you're moving on. Um, this person wants to come clean and tell you everything. This person, um, ha and they're also curious about how much you already know. This person's curious like how much you know already. They wanna know like how much you know about what's going on or what they did. Um, uh, this person also, this person has a lot of feelings for you. That this person feels for you what even whether how whether how connected you are to this person very connected or not this person has a lot of feelings for you this person just um, also wants to know if you'd be willing to change the way you feel about them this person also wants to know if you'd be able to take them seriously this person also wants to know if you look down on them and if you judge them this person wants a chance to explain their side of the story of everything they, they've been doing. They want you to hear it from them. They, they don't know how much you know or how much you've heard, but they want you to hear it from them. It's like they want to be able to explain themselves like, hey, well, this is why, and I, I did know what I was doing. You know what I mean? It's giving the feeling like, well, I did know what I was doing, but it's because this person did this. It's almost like this person wants to explain themselves and defend themselves so that it, to like smooth it out so it doesn't sound as bad as it is, kind of, you know? And, um, I asked Spirit um, to tell me, oh my ca my camera's about to die, I better hurry up, it's going to die any second. And I asked Spirit to a give me any suggested guidance or advice for you, and it said to be, this, Spirit said to be cool with this person, and be balanced, um, to, it's okay to try to, if this person, you know, somebody you're very connected to, if you want to heal things with this person, cool, um, but to, or uh, even if you're, whether you're very connected to this person or not, but to proceed with caution and moderation with this person of how much you interact with them and to be safe. Like they're highlighting to me right now to the one foot in the water and the one foot on ground. So to keep, have have a safety, <laughs> to have a safety plan. Don't go all in with this person. Have your, have, at least have something that you keep grounded. Like, you know, if this is like say, you know, a husband or a wife and you know, they do some crazy spending, have, a, have an emergency backup plan that you keep to yourself. That's just your, your own security blanket. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so, but that it's okay if you want to heal things with this person or hear, hear them out, but just proceed with caution. Um, so that's what I have for you today. I know this is a very specific pile, so if you came to this pile and it wasn't for you, there's a couple other piles you could check out. I think there's only two piles that were really specific, so I hope it resonated. If it did, I hope you feel called to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in another reading.